back to our show, Rated Sneakers, the only show where we rate your favorite sneakers. And today our guest will be Noel, I'm your host, Paul Kers. Let's hear a big applause for our guest. Thank you, Paul, for inviting me here. I'm Noel, I'm from Italy. I run a YouTube channel around vintage fashion and men's fashion. I also do thrift vlogs, pickups, and uh, fashion history. And I have a lot of content for you guys. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram. This episode will be in collaboration with S.D, your favorite Instagram fashion page. Where they post related streetwear topics, streetwear outfits, outfit battles and more. So you better check them out. So the first sneakers that we're going to rate are the Converse from the year 1921. So let's start with Converse. I have a pair myself in this neon yellow. Uh, the silhouette is nice. Um, they go well with many outfits. It's a basic shoe that can go with many looks and I like the design also they are quite comfortable uh, they are durable I had this Converse for like three three years but I don't wear them a lot but if you like don't wear them every day they are actually durable and I like the design a lot uh, so I think this will be an A yes on the scale from F to S it will be an A the next sneakers that are going to read are the ones authentic from 1966. So now we have the Vans authentic. If I have to put it on the level with the low version of the Converse, I will put Vans above. Uh, they're also a basic shoe that can go with every outfit. There's not a lot going on in the shoe, but they are comfortable. They are quite durable also. and. Uh, I think it will be at the same level of Converse, so on an A level. Next sneakers that we're going to rate are the Vans of School from 1976. Now we have the Vans Old School. I have a pair also, and I like those shoes a lot. Like they were my dream shoes for like from high school, and they have this vent side stripe and leather added and I think also this like is a basic shoe but on next level because there are some designs going on in the shoe and I also really like the colorway this black and white colorway and uh, also this can go with many outfits but it's more like yeah it has a skate vibe and I really like them I think for me those are above the Vans Authentic and I think also above the Converse so I put them on the S tier now is the moment for our break we will be right back so do you want to take your loafers at the next level cares as the right shoes for you the loafers keepers by cares with the unbelievable price of 79 and 99 cents loafer creepers by cares feel the power the next sneakers that are going to read at the air jordan from 1986 Jay's a Muffy. Jay's a Muffy. You know, like me? Hey! 1985. Sorry, 1985. Sorry, sorry. An iconic basketball shoe that is still iconic till today. And I really like the original colorway red and black. And I think I would put them on the S tier. So I think the Vans will go on the A tier and the Converse and the Vans Authentic will go on the B tier. And the next sneakers are the Ethnies from 1999. The Ethnies. I actually had a pair of Ethnies, I think, around middle school. Yeah, around middle school, I had a pair of Ethnies that I would wear like almost every day and also at gym. And I really liked them because they were very comfortable and also the silhouette is, isn't is very common and I really like it. So I think at the Ethnies, I would put them at the B, yes, B tier with the Converse and the Vans Authentic. And the next sneakers are the Air Max 1990. Of 
on with the Air Max, I think I don't like them a lot. Maybe it's the silhouette or like, I don't know what what else. Like the only memory that I have with the Air Max is that I will always wear them at gym and they were, they were not like very comfortable to me and also didn't like the silhouette of the shoe and I didn't know how to style them and still now I don't know how to style them really well. So for me, I'm not the best and I think I'll put them on the D tier. And the last pair of sneakers that we're going to read today are the Run Slip On from 1982. So the episode is over, thank you for tuning in, thank you S.D for collaborating in this video and thanks to our guest Noel, we will see you on the next episode.